Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 8 of the Only Frams Transport Fever 2 series. I wanted to start off today's episode by showing you what I've done with this truck stop. Now, believe it or not, I played around with this for so long to try and make it work. And I actually found out that by putting the truck stop this way around, it enabled me to have the entrance one side and the way out the other side, meaning that the trams, when they come in, they'll pull into the platforms from right to left here and then go out and none of them cross over. If I bring up the lines like this, you can see that every single one's going in and then out. And just as this tram comes in, you'll see that well, even with the, the three car trams when they come in, they don't actually overlap at the ends. It's the perfect spacing. Now, I did have to put one platform this side. I built this by going into the truck stops here. And I made this thing with three on the left and one on the right. And then I spun it around and I made it like this and then deleted the connection. But if I didn't have the one on the left hand side at the bottom of here, as you can see, then it messes it all up and it, it affects the route. So I did have to do that and that one will just be redundant. So I think what I'll do is when I have a bit more time to put some more assets on, I'll get some more of this decoration and fill that one so it looks like it is being used. But if we ever need any more, I will have to sort of shift everything back here. But as you can see, the, this guy coming in now, I've changed them so in the settings they were set to fill at the end so the tram will drive all the way through and then overhang so i've set them to fill in the center of the the loading bay now which you can see he's just stopped to let him through but that's the only time there can be any kind of congestion when they're just letting each other out but they don't overhang the platforms at all so i think that's worked out really well the only thing i'm not too pleased about is the terrain out here but unfortunately there wasn't really a another way of without ripping it all out and deleting all the old stuff oh and that's another thing you will notice as i added this entrance and exit you can see that because the time's now moved on and i need to start that again actually as the, as the time's now moved on i could no longer place the dirt country roads it had to be concrete uh, and asphalt so just so that it didn't look out of place i have gone round. you can see from here it's still the old roads but i have gone through this whole loop and changed everything to asphalt just so it all looks the same and it, it you know it, it doesn't look like it was a, a, a bit of a mess but that's that now up and running as you can see all the lines are on the right platforms and they've all got things get being delivered so it is all working again i did mess it up a little bit while i was doing it but hopefully it's all working now and if we look at the lines the only one losing money now is the canterbury bus line but Let's just have a look at that. That will be the little local route just around the town. It is, and that's probably just due to the lack of things. Well, actually, I'll tell you what, let's have a look. We have got people waiting around the town, but you can see now that this town's expanding, but we are still covering. That's what I wanted to check, that with the town expanding, we are still covering it, but we are. We might just have one too many vehicles on that line, actually. We've got three. But they also only do 16 miles an hour. I'll tell you what, let's upgrade that. How many passengers have we got at the minute? We can currently carry 11. This carries 10. But because we're already overboard, I think we'll, we'll go for that. We'll give those an upgrade. I'll make them a little bit faster. And they also carry roughly the same. We weren't using it to its full potential anyway at the minute. Now, the one thing I did want to do in this episode is upgrade the trams on this line. Because you can see we've got quite a number of trams on here. And it does make us a little bit of money. Nothing great, but it makes us 225,000. But if you see when we, t we start looking at these, it's the speed that's dropping off and we're holding everything up. So what I want to do is have a look at bringing a new tram in. And the one I've been looking at is the new one that we've unlocked, which is this Type T1. These do 37 mile an hour as opposed to the 22. And they also hold 23 instead of the 19 that we're going to do. So it's a little bit of a capacity upgrade, but not much. But it's mainly for the speed. So let's go for that while we've got plenty of money. And then I do want to have a look at these as well. See what they're about. I have had a, a little look on Google for these, so I can give you a little bit of information on them. Now, as you might have seen in the vehicle menu then, they are a T1. And these were made by a company called Bothman & Gotha. I hope I've got that right, G-O-T-H-A. And they were used in a town called Gotha, which is actually, it's, it's, it's classed as a German state of Thuringia. 
which is where they were used and these guys came in in around 1928 all the way up to about 1970 and it was one of the first ones that had sort of the dual carriages just basically one one train car if you like and one that is just a passenger car but i think these are pretty cool there isn't really other than that a great deal of information out there about these and it was hard to find i kept coming up with one by a company called tatra and it was hard to find even even an image of these ones to be honest with you but yeah there's a li little bit behind it but i think these look pretty cool they remind me a little bit the shape of you may have seen the American um, sort of caravan trailers, the Airstreams, the or Gulf Streams are they called? The ones that look like they've been moulded into almost a bullet shape. Well, I kind of get that kind of idea from these, other than just the flat frontage. It looks like we've just caught these at a time when there's two catching up with each other. So I don't know why this one's stopped right in front of here. As it, it may have broken it. Oh no, they just, for some reason, are very close. Must need a bit more spacing out. Uh, we might actually have just one too many on this line, as you can see. These are they're all picking up 14. How many did he get? Just five. I think I'm going to delete that one there. So I just don't like how close they are to each other. We've got another one coming in behind there. That's not too bad. We'll stick with that. But, right, guys. So that's the upgrading for this episode. I also want to have a quick look at whether Lincoln's now receiving all the machines we set up in the last episode. It is. So we've up to 30 there. So if we look at the target population is now plus 90%. As you can see, we're getting 20% from the destinations from the passenger tram line we've put in. 20% from private transport. Uh, and then we're also getting 50% 50, 50 growth from delivering those tools at the machine, sorry. And then down here, what have we got waiting? We've got 13 banks waiting, which will be picked up by this guy on his way back. We're currently still waiting for machines and the factory's actually waiting for steel, which is about to be delivered. So it looks like everything's sort of ticking over. The, all of the general resources, if you like, the base resources, all look like they're overflowing. But they will do that just because it's constantly coming out of the ground. So when this guy starts overflowing, that we have issues. But what it does mean is that we have the capacity to double these lines. Well, maybe not even capacity to double, but definitely to up it. So we've got 240. So I am confident in doubling them, actually. So we'll double the coal line there, and then we'll double iron. We'll just check how many is that. Yeah, 200 again. So we'll double that again, and then we'll keep an eye on that over the next episode or so, just to make sure it's not falling foul and we're not losing out too much. I still need to come around at some point and decorate this here and i'm wondering whether what i might do off camera is make this the same layout as the other one if we make that the same as the one down by canterbury here so they come in and then out again it might be worth doing i think that's probably at least a definitely a good place to start i suppose but now the main bulk of what i want to do in this episode is i've noticed that we've got edgeware here that needs food and nottingham over here that needs construction materials in Edgeware, we're producing construction... Well, sorry, we can make construction materials, which we already are doing. But over here near Nottingham, we can make food. So what I want to do is set up a, a food line here that's making food, with then a tram that takes the food over to Edgeware, drops the food at Edgeware, and then brings some of these construction materials back for Nottingham. And I think that way we're going to have a whole new industry set up with the, the, the food over at this end of the map. But we're also going to be supplying Nottingham and Edgeware which when we do then bring those in, because the next thing I think after that in the next episode is going to be setting up a passenger route between Edgware, Lincoln, Louth. And then maybe event, maybe after that we get one from West Bedlington, Nottingham down to Slough, and we somehow look at how we're going to join that into Louth. Um, we're still in two minds with you guys on to whether we're allowed to use the trams that are on train rail. And if that was the case, then I'd probably join West Bedlington just into Nottingham as a local route. And then have these three, Nottingham, Slough, Newark as one. And then have a maybe a tram station down here with a rail along the river up to towards Louth. Just to join this side of the map together. But let me know what you think of that idea, guys. Whether we, we, we could just have the one rail route along the river with only, only trams on the rail. But I don't want to get into using trains that defeat the object. The whole point of the series, really, wouldn't it? So to start with, I'm just wondering what the best way to do this is. 
do we have a... I think we're going to need a, a drop-off point outside Edgware and a drop-off point outside Nottingham. And then the route's independent of each other. So I think if we start over at Edgware, we don't want lamps. We want Era B. And for now, I don't want the entrance because I want to do that myself. So we've got one and three. We don't need that many. I need one to drop off and pick up. And now this should be enough just here because all I want, I want to go for 30 meter stations though. We're heading over in that kind of direction. And then just to make this right from the start, when we're coming in this direction, I want an entrance there and an exit on that side. Then for the ones bringing construction materials in, we want to be able to come in this way and out that way back onto the main road this side, I think. So we're going to have someone bringing just construction materials. Or do we need to add more stone into the line, I wonder? Because these are one for one, aren't they? Yes. So what we'll need to do is, we've got plenty of stone here, and we're only shipping 100 out of 400 of what we need. So what I can do is set up a line from where it goes stone to construction materials, and that brings the construction materials to this plant. But then that is going to be empty all the way around here. So we are going to take a little bit of a hit on that. But being completely full one way and full back this way should make up for that, I believe. It shouldn't It shouldn't make it non-profitable, but it will enable us to make the profit by sending the construction materials across the map. So what we want now, I don't want a bus lane, but we do want an electric tram track. Coming in this way, we're going to be coming from this direction. And heading out, we're going to be heading out here. Then we will just, as we're here, upgrade this. I know I've just put electric there, but we are going to use that anyway because we are going to be delivering those construction materials into the town as well, so I won't worry about that. We'll just get that piece upgraded as well. Uh, this guy needs electrification. I may have missed that first time around. So that's connected up in terms of this way. And then for the ones here, we want to kind of... I think if we're heading in that direction, if we're coming down here and then we branch off from here and then, and then on the way out in there. I don't like how it does these connections, that's the only thing. If I can try and get it branching off a bit smoother, I'd much prefer that. We might have to just come off on a, stra on a straight angle, that might be what it is. Or we might have to come off like that. That's still not ideal. I don't know why it's doing that with the land. If it is going to do that, I'd rather it do it and keep keep the speed up if it can. It, maybe it has to be flat for the intersection for the tram. I think that's what it that's what it must be. But I'll tell you what, let's come out and try and flatten some of this land if we can. Try and this brush size down. If I can just Get rid of that road that's already gone in. Apologies if that's really loud, guys. I think if I go up this brush size, maybe not quite that big. If I can get the area flat, just to connect the two sides together. I do want this one coming out fairly straight. And then this guy can come in. There we go. That's a little bit better. I'm happy to take that from there. And then from here, there we go. Yeah, that's much better. But then we want to start sort of heading up banks almost to the base of this hill. And around, I can see where this hillside is. I want to sort of skirt around just the edge of this hill here. To try and keep the speed up where we can. I mean... With electrification, it doesn't. They don't seem to struggle that much with speed drop. Now I'm just thinking where we're going to have this truck stop. And I think we're going to be getting food, food to the grid. I'm wondering whether we have it just here. Well, I was thinking originally closer to Nottingham, but or we go here. But we don't really need to feed any other towns other than West Bedlington. There's none close enough to use the same one. So I think. Let's just build it and get it in down here. We are going to want the same again. Because we're just going to have... Or actually, we're going to want two... 
on the right this time, I think it is. We go there. Because we're going to want eventually one delivery line going to West Bedlington and one delivery line going to Nottingham. So if we can sort of pre-plan for that now, we're going to have the trams coming in from over in the far direction to drop off. So that will be the entrance and exit there. And then for this guy, we want the entrance this side and the exit there. So they come in and they'll use these two platforms for the local deliveries. But then they'll use this far platform for the delivery coming in from over by Edgware. And then similarly, we need to join these two together, hopefully a bit. Oh, there we go. That's a lot nicer this time because the land's a lot flatter. And now from here, we need to connect up to where we were over there. And I think I'm going to connect into the end of this road here, which mean, will mean upgrading all of this. And then we'll branch off down here. No, not like that. There we go. That's nice and smooth. It's given us a flat connection there. I can get behind that. Let's put tram track in, but it's not made it electric. So we need to just stick the catenaries on. Catenaries, catenaries. Everyone seems to say it, say it differently, but... Let me know if you've got any... Um, Weird or wonderful ways of pronouncing catenaries, guys. I know there's catenaries, catenaries. Uh, there's a few. There's a few. I think there's more than that. I can't think off the top of my head. But there's three or four different ways that people have been um, saying in the comments that the the way they say it. But I did Google it because I am that kind of person. <laughs> Just to check, I googled it to see what the um, the correct pronunciation is, and it says that the British version is catenary. So. That's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to connect those in nice and straight. Maybe I should put a bit of a curve on, but I think they're going to be coming from both directions into here. So the straight connections are probably better. And then at this end, we are going to need electric. We're just going to need one platform. I want to put the connection on for this. Um, and then I think... Oh, wrong button. I think if we connect in to here... We're going to be heading back this way. So I think maybe I put this one on the other side. And if we can get this connected to the road and to the farm, that would be brilliant. Like that. But it's the road. There we go. But I just don't like the height change that it's doing there. You can get that in somewhere that's relatively flat like that. There we go. Is that still connected to the farm? It is. That's something you really do have to be careful about because it can catch you out so easily. You think you think you're connected in to um, one of your industries, and then all of a sudden nothing's working, and you can't figure out why. And then eventually you'll find out that it's just because when you've placed it, it's got rid of that connection. So now we can pick up grain, and the grain's going to have to come down. And at the minute, because of West Bedlington's tiny. And we're not delivering anything to it to try and promote growth. I'm, I'm happy enough for the trams to just trundle through the town, actually. Um, we will need to upgrade the electrification of all of this, though. And then we're going to have to go for medium street with electric. Yes. And again, for some reason, it didn't select electric on here. But then I want medium street with electric. And I want to come th all the way through the town. There we go. And then we're connected in. So that enables us then to set that up. Well, I am going to put another tram depot over at this end of the map. Just because there's nothing over here at the minute. And I actually might make this. Oh, I was hoping it would fit. I was hoping it would fit between there. So we could make it part of the... Um, the truck stop but not to worry we can put it here and it still looks like it's involved with it by the time we put some assets down with some buildings it'll still look like that's working nice so then from here now we need a tram that can carry grain and then bring back food it is only a local loop, loop actually isn't it so i might use the the ce22 again i don't think it needs to be massive uh like the the amount that we're producing I don't think needs to be huge. Just out of interest, how much food does Edgware need? Edgware only needs 26 food. 
So yes, I think we'll go for some of these. We'll go for these guys that can carry 21 because it is two grain to, to one food anyway. So if we go for two of those, <clears throat> excuse me, bit of a dry throat there. And then I think, yeah, we'll stick a color on. I don't want this to be over facing, but if we go for that. No, I can already tell that that doesn't look great. Go for the more orange one. We'll have a look at these when they come out. But for this new line, I want them to go to the farm first. Wait for a full load. And I want them to load with grain and unload nothing. And then I haven't built this truck stop yet, have I? So over here, I'm going to do a similar thing. Just set it off off the road and then we're going to come through with electrification on and then we want to just connect that one in like so and that's give us a decent connection there as well which is perfect line one then so then we want to come to the food plant and what we want to do is load on food and unload grain and but i'm not going to tell you to wait for a full load i can see that that isn't working which means we've got a break in the electrification somewhere but we'll find that in a second and for this guy we want to come in and this is where i need to choose which stop we want now so i want to go for platform any but one isn't it really so we'll go for two and then that's saying again it can't make it back this is going to be tf for tram freight and i'm going to call it nottingham food i mean it's not nottingham is it it's west bedlington Let's give it. Let's give it its correct aim. I'm thinking because we're bringing the construction materials for Nottingham, it was that, but it's not. Let's be fair to Bedlington, West Bedlington food. And now let's try and see why this isn't working. So we need to see what's got electrification. So this isn't, but it's Medium Street. If we go to here, so here's not electrified. That's not. They are. They just look like they're not. Hopefully this all is. Let me just check if that's now fixed that line. It has. Brilliant. So then at West Bedlin sidings, we just want to unload there and do nothing else. So that will now get food to here, but that won't kick in yet. So I'm going to hit pause because at the moment we've got nothing. We've, we haven't got a tram stop to bring the food to here. So what I'm going to do now to start with is upgrade these roads. So for the country road, we'll upgrade those. That's all the way up to there. And then what we need to do, I think I'm going to have to get some more stone. So if we go from this depot down here, and we do the same as what we're doing already. How much stone do we need over? Uh, how many construction materials over? 35. So again, it's not going to be a lot. We'll just go for twos again, I think. And I'm going to go for... This is a bit of a longer run, I think. So I'm going to go for three. And we'll colour them. Maybe a nice grey for, for the stone and construction materials. But we're going to come in to the stone quarry here. And I'm going to set that to full load. And make sure that waits for a full load. And then we're going to go to the construction materials plant. Hopefully the other one hasn't picked the other terminal so we'll go to that side just to keep them separate and then from there i want it to come in and drop off over here that's fine it's picked the correct one so this one is going to be tf and this is going to be edgeware con mat 2 because we've already got edgeware con mat 1, con mat one. okay so that should start now so that's going to now make construction materials, but it's not because they've got nowhere to go. So finally, what we need to do is set up some long distance trams, and these need to be able to bring construction materials one way. Okay, so it's got to say construction materials one way, and then also food back. Now I'm not sure if construction materials and food will go in the same one here, but it will give us a, a different tram. So if we go with this one, construction materials are going to open wagons. 
But we've got no food on that one. So we want state cars and goods wagons, don't we? That's the sort of combination that we want because the, the goods wagons hold the food, I'm pretty sure. If I can find one that is only... Is there a way for me? I think it's because I've got grain selected there. Yes, there we go. These are the ones that we want. So with this set, we could carry food one way. We could carry structure materials the other. It'll only, it will always only work at half rate. I'm going to get one of those just so that we, I know this isn't going to be the most profitable. Simply because, well, so here I'm going to tell it to load. Can't tell it to load full, can I? Because there's two different consists. Okay, so this will just have to run in between each one. I want to make sure it's going to the right stop, which it is at that end. And here, hopefully, it's the far one it is. Okay, so this is going to be the tram freight. This is Edgware, Nottingham, freight. That makes sense to me, and I'm not sure which one that tram's going to come out of. It looks like here. Okay, so we've now got food getting delivered to the distribution hub, construction material being delivered to the distribution hub at this end, and something in between. So what we need now are the delivery lines going into the town. Because at the minute, I'm going to hit play, and I, I know we're going to be losing money at this point because there's no end goal, but there's no end destination, should I say, but it'll get those lines moving. But what I do need to do is put a delivery point that can just be a truck stop. In the town so i want to bring this one i'll bring it just past and then we'll have to upgrade the road so just so when this tram stops here it's not going to interrupt the passenger line so what we'll do is we'll go to town medium street electric I want to upgrade i just want to put this part in and then it it will unfortunately just turn around in the street i think unless we can upgrade this if i can connect that in and then just tell that to keep and just run the street past where it was originally going. There we go. So it, it may now, when I put this loop in, loop around the back. I'm hoping that's what it does. I don't really like it when the trams are just flipping around wherever they want to in the middle of the road. It doesn't look great. But that is doing. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to put a waypoint in. Now, where can I find a little waypoint? Oh, there we go right in front of my nose and it's going to be going on the right hand side there and it's still going to be called line one so after queen's road oh it's I've created a new line that's my error so after queen's road i want it to hit that waypoint there we go much better and i'm just tempted whether to put one here as well to avoid it getting caught but it's not very often actually I'm thinking it might get stuck behind this passenger one when it's stuck at the when it's stopped there, but it won't be very often, so it should be okay. And then we want TF for tram freight again, and this is Edgeware Delivery. Just call it delivery for now because it's gonna be delivering eventually probably some fuel as well. It's just gonna be the one we'll eventually get some way a way of getting some fuel into there. And then that'll bring it up to me fair. Fuel's not even that far away, is it really? Now, I only want something small now, and at the minute we're only delivering food. So, I don't want a big, a dirty steam tram going through the town, though, and that'll be noise. We look at the emissions, 81, 69, 72. So it is just going to be, I'm going to go for the smallest CE2 here, just for the emissions more than anything. And that's going to drop 14 off. So we'll, we'll add that in. I don't need a new line. I've already made the line. Um, it's Edgeware Delivery. There we go. I would colour it, but I don't want to colour it bright pink. <laughs> I think that'll look a little bit too overbearing, just driving around. I did want to have a look at those grain ones, though. Let's see if we can catch one here. Is that orange a bit much? Maybe so. That darker one looks a lot better, I think. It looks a lot more crisp. Okay, so we've now got the ability to get food. If we look at consumer here, 
once these guys start running it should see that edgeware is now a consumer because we can get food all the way down to there because I'm hoping this guy is now on his way up which he is and he can carry food and we've got the new guy coming up from the depot which is this one and then if we just have a look at this line edgeware halt I only want it to load food and I don't want it to unload anything at all so now it knows that we want it to pick up food he's heading up there this guy should soon consumers there we go so we're now delivering food but what we're not doing yet is delivering the construction materials up to Nottingham so in the same way we've just done we need to have a stop in Nottingham that covers all of the construction materials so I think I'll just bang it off the main run through the town here and then we'll create a loop just the same as we did before across the town here and then we need to upgrade of electricity that, that loop through the town but maybe not that far out of town if you see me zooming in guys it's because you see when I hover there it wants to do that whole road and upgrade it all with um, country road and I don't want it to be country road all the way up to the junction so if I zoom in and click here you can see it shortens that piece handy little tip just for if you're designing anything any road networks with catenaries it helps out a lot that I mean it's also good to zoom out if you're doing really long distances I mean, it works with train lines as well when you're upgrading to electric tracks or high speed track and now we need again the thing with the lowest emissions which is going to be C2 at the moment there's nothing different with construction materials there isn't and then how many construction materials did we say we needed 35 okay so we need to be able to carry 35 but we don't 28 would be fine or we have a smaller one running two loops I think that's the deal I'm gonna go for that nice burgundy red again over here because it is a different line and it's separate from the other side of the map I do think that looked really nice when we use the construction materials the other side and then now oh look at that guys the English electric balloon that's something we're gonna have to have a look at so TF and this is going to be Nottingham delivery and that's going into the right terminal exactly where we wanted it to and I'm hoping and uh, now you see in this guy their stopping point is at the front now you see what the one that I changed in between episodes I said to you they weren't overhanging anymore if you saw that guy just let's wait for another tram to come in they sometimes stop with the cab overhanging the end and that can cause your traffic jams coming through but if you go into configure it's just part of this era mod but if you go through and you click center then the tram centralizes itself on the platform so that that doesn't happen anymore now, I've said that and it looks like we're going to be waiting for a while for one of these trams to come through he's hopeful this guy is hopefully going to drop us some food off so we can see what I mean I know we're using these CE2 slash 2s a lot in this playthrough so far, but they are a cool looking tram, aren't they? At least it's not something that looks hideous or, or you know, look, that looks sort of terrible that we're having to use. Now you'll see this guy now is going to come in and he's going to stop overhanging the main road through like that. But now if we configure this and we tell it to stop in point to be at the centre, then the next tram that comes in will stop at the centre just like the guys over at this one they see they're now set to stop central and that just stops them clogging up the rest of the truck stop that's a good tip if you're using the era mod, mod as well so hopefully now not the Nottingham one's going and we've now got Nottingham picked up as a delivery point here which means we may be about to get we are we're about to get our first line of wow that tram's massive isn't it I can't have that guys I'm sorry I didn't realise how long that was we're going to have to half that we're going to have to go two and two I think we're going to replace that 
Um, we need two and two. There we go. But this speed increase is going to be crazy for us. We've got the first five bricks there. This travelling through with... There's, got, there's not really any other traffic that's going to use this road, I don't think. Even even though private transport's using this road. Because it, and because it connects straight into the cargo hub, I think that stops everyday people from using it. So this is sort of a little bit of a freight highway just for us to use. Now I do want to just have a quick look at that new tram that we just unlocked. English balloon tram. So it carries 21 passengers. And it goes what is 43 mile an hour. So that's a fast, that's a very fast train. Lifespan 74 years from 1934. And this reminds me, guys, any of you fellow Brits out there will know of a place called Blackpool. And other people may do. But there's a place in England, a seaside town called Blackpool, that has a big um, theme park with loads of rides and things. And they have trams that go all the way up and down the front, the coast of the sea. It's right, right on the sea. And the trams run up and down, and they have trams that look like that. That's a bit of a throwback to me. I am going to have to use those. And because we're doing passengers in the next episode, I do think we're going to get to use them. And maybe it's going to be a line from Edgware, from Edgware down to Louth. We've already got Edgware down to Louth, actually, haven't we? We've already got that one in. Um, so what I think it must be, then, is maybe we do that link we were talking about, West Bedlington, Nottingham, Slough, Newark, and we get these guys all connected. And then we could have one that connects Slough into Louth. And then that'll be everything connected in, passenger-wise, then. But I don't want to do it all, all of that in the next episode, but maybe we get West Bedlington, Not Nottingham, and Slough joined up as a triple line, and then Newark... Newark in is just a sort of branch line. And then we've got to start looking at what we do in terms of um, cargo next. Now, I think Tools is one that a few of the towns need. West Bedlington wants them. Bexel on Sea wants them. Dareham wants them. And in terms of tools, we've got a tool factory over here. That's quite far away. We've got a tool factory here, but then planks are quite far away. From a saw we've actually got a sawmill that's a at Dareham over here but then we've got no lumber so yeah that'll be interesting to see what happens in the next one guys but we're going to leave it here for this episode we are about 35 minutes in so I want to say thank you for joining me again as always thank you for your comments on the last video all your support and advice is absolutely fantastic it makes a world of difference where every time I see somebody say that they've enjoyed the video and that they're looking forward to the next episode or even with just any advice on how i can make the videos better for you guys every little thing really makes a difference and it, it, it gives me that um, passion to carry on making more i suppose and that is the end of the episode guys as always if you made it this far please give it a like for me and if you haven't done already please click the subscribe button to help me out thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one okay.